around 8.32. Hey, sis, excuse me, sis across the street. You right there. My sister, what's your name? You got a minute? Come here real quick. I just want you to know who you are, right? Because I see some things you got to correct, like that cigarette you're smoking. That's the sin of you defiling your temple. You got to get rid of that. All right? You making yourself an enemy of the Most High God. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Come on. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. God said, Christ said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And that's why we are here for our people. But y'all got to stop neglecting the truth. Hey, my brother. My brother, come here, come here for a second. You got a minute? What's your name, bro? What's your name? Huh? Lil Lala. Ain't nobody gonna do you nothing. It's all good over here, I promise you. What you say? Sean, come this way for me. You ever heard of Israel United in Christ? That's who he is, man. What's your nationality? You believe in the Bible? You do? You believe in the Bible. What's your nationality according to God's word? You say Christian? That's a religion. That's not a nationality. So a nation, it, it determines like what people you come from. That's what a nationality is. It stems from that. A religion is something different. So I'm going to ask you again now. According to the Bible that you believe in, Sean, what's your nationality? Never heard of it, right? I want you to take a look. Your far right, I will far left. This sign right here is based on the Bible. You can read about that in the, uh, Ezekiel 37. Hold on. Read, this, read that verse again. It's a book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So, Sean, what's about to happen for you today, right now, the Most High God is about to reveal to you who you are and what you're supposed to be doing. Because from the sounds of it, you're an Israelite, bro. You should consider yourself so-called African-American, I assume? Okay, thank you for confirming. So, according to the Bible, look right here one more time. You see African-American on this chart, or American black specifically? Right? That's the slave name that our slave master gave us. You see this sign right here? This is all based on our slavery right here in this land and throughout the world. So, look on the other side of American blacks. What name do you see right there? Ooh, a smile coming. You see that young man about to smile? You say, what? God, he's smiling saying Judah, so you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah according to the Bible. You understand that? So the Bible says the truth shall make you free. What's the truth according to the Bible? Psalms 119, it will come back the way you at. You said you believe in the Bible, right? So what you been learning? What you been learning about your Bible? Huh? How to be a Christian? So tell me how to be a Christian, Sean. By not sinning. I like that. What else? Praying every day, doing what you're supposed to be doing. We're going to come right back to that. So according to the Bible, right, the truth shall make you make you free. Let's see what the truth is. Come on. Read up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Uh -huh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. And thy law is the truth. So the truth that makes us free, Nehemiah 10 and 31, is the laws of God. That's what's going to free us, Sean. You agree? That's what the Bible said, right? So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are one nation of people, the Israelites. They've been destroyed for sinning. Like you said, you've been taught not to do. Sinning is breaking God's commandments. You find that in 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. But watch this. Read what you got. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land being where are in the victuals. So the people of the land or the people running the land bring where of victuals, material, food, victuals to sell. Watch on the Sabbath day to sell, uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them. That we would not what? That we would not buy it of them. So do you know what the Sabbath day is? That's right now, bro. Right now is the Lord's Sabbath day. It's the seventh day of the week, correct? You smart, you got a smartphone, correct? What's the seventh day in your calendar in your smartphone in your pocket? You say what? You say Sunday, let's get to your phone. Put your phone out, go to the calendar real quick. It's in the car, okay, you can use mine. I'm gonna unlock it for you. I'm gonna show you something, because you just came out that store, right? Okay, you, you got something out that store, right? So what's the seventh day on this phone? Come on now. What's the last day on the calendar at the top? You say Saturday, right? Ain't today Saturday? So according to the Bible, the seventh day is the Sabbath day, and that's th today Saturday. So we can't do what on Saturday, Sean? Read it again. Book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. Come on. And if the people of the land bring where are any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We will not what? We will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. What can't the Israelites do on the Sabbath day? Every single week. Every, we can't what? We can't buy. We cannot buy. Let's make it make it plain. We can't buy. What did you do today, Sean? You see how easy that is to figure out? You just said, so you got to repent and stop buying on the Lord's Sabbath day. From Friday night to Saturday night, that window is the Lord's Sabbath. Because the day begins at night, at sundown, not 12 a.m. in the middle of the night. Nothing begins in the middle, right? That don't make sense. If I was going to cut your hairline you up, I wouldn't begin in a high place. I would start from the beginning, right? 
anything with a story. I'm going to start from the beginning of the story so you can understand the whole story. You don't jump in a movie and watch the middle to the end. You start at the beginning. The day begins at, oh, she got a flower. The day begins at sundown. So right now is the Lord's Sabbath day. You shouldn't have bought that. So going forward as a Christian, you shouldn't do what? You shouldn't buy no more. All praises, Matthew 4 and 17. So you said you've been following Christ, right? Are you aware that sin is actually breaking God's laws? Did you know that? What's the precept? What's the verse of the scripture? What can you read it? I already said it too. 1 John 3 and 4 is in the Bible. You can prove it. All right, but watch this. Read. Book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. Uh -huh. From that time, Jesus began to preach. So Jesus started teaching. He started preaching, right? What was he teaching? Because you said you're a Christian. What does it mean to be a Christian? These ain't hard questions. You know the answers. No need to be shy. What does it mean to be a Christian? Huh? To what? Okay, correct. Let's see. Watch this. And from that time, Jesus began to preach uh -huh. and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Christ was teaching repentance. You know what repentance is? Because if you're a follower of Christ, you should be teaching that. That's how you know who the true Christians are. If they're teaching what Christ taught, and that's repentance. You understand? Ezekiel, where you going? You got something else? Okay, go ahead. Oh, that's, his people. that's your people right now? What's his name? AJ, come here right quick. Bring his phone. He need his phone. Bring his phone to your phone. You got it? Go to YouTube. Pull up a YouTube app, and I want you to go to uh, IUIC and log on to Portland. Come around for me. Where your brother at? Where your partner at? And give him his phone so both of y'all can download IUIC TV. It's an app, all right? You got a flyer? Did you get a flyer already? No, you just came out of the store. Anybody got flyers? Hey, 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 uh, brother David, two flyers over here, please. Read that. So we're talking about what it means to be a Christian. You aware of that, too? You seen him in that to get that out of the store? Tell him what you just did. What you just did, Sean. You've been here for long enough to know. You just what? He just sinned. You just told your brother to sin, bro. That's the opposite of love, man. We going over it right now. Put the flies in your pocket. Read that. So book of Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Yeah. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So he said, repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So even though you just sinned, you're still breathing. And you're an Israelite. You know who the Israelites are? We didn't talk about it. It's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We God's chosen people. All of us are one nation. The people I just named. The sign that you lean on, look down real quick. That's the list of our family. What's your father's nationality? Huh? You don't know? He said black, but he know. All right, so just like we told Sean, AJ, look down there. You see American black on the right side of that sign? You see a little dance to the left of it in another name, right? That name made a Sean smile when he said it. It's Judah. That would be the tribe you come from. You about that? He's smiling too. What's going on today? So the Israelites, right? The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have tribe names. Oh, Levi, Benjamin, Judah, all the way down. This is in the Bible. That's, That's why you never find American Black in the Bible. Hispanic and Native American. Those That's are right. not our real names. Right. Those are bywords. You are Israelites, all right? God's chosen people, but you got to come back to keeping the commandments to have a chance at repentance and salvation. Your sure say take the chance. I like that. Read. Go to Ezekiel 18 and 30. Because we're dealing with repentance, let's get the definition of repentance. How old are you? You're 16, okay. You're 14. Y'all brothers for real? Okay, I was just playing when I said that. I'll pray to the Most High, bro. That's a great age to be, especially learning this truth. I wish I knew it back then. Probably wouldn't have did half of the stuff I did. Come on. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, and verse 30. Read it out. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. So the Most High letting the Israelites, us know he's going to judge us. Y'all believe in judgment day when Christ come back? You do? Okay, I'll praise it. So he's letting us know the Israelites, again, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he's going to judge us. Come on. Every one according to his way. In case you was wondering on what, it's according to his ways, meaning everything that we do, everything that we say, and everything that we think, we're going to be held accountable for. That's Every right. single one of us. Right. You're either getting into the kingdom or you're not, That's meaning right. you're going to get that eternal fire. That's why we're here trying to save y'all from that. Read I don't want to see none of my people perish, kind of like my full father Paul, but read on, because let's find out what repentance is. Said the Lord God, God. <laughs> repent. Uh -huh. And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. One more time for repent, because he just told us the word and gave us the definition all in one sentence. He said, repent and what? And turn yourselves from all your transgressions. Now, son, I know you're a small young man, because I can feel it. So according to the Bible, for you to repent and you just sin today, what you're not going to do no more is an act of repentance. You're not going to sin by doing what, son? By buying stuff. I knew the man would get it. So no more can you buy on the Sabbath day. You agree with that, AJ? That's what the Bible say. So from Friday night to Saturday night, you ain't doing no buying. All right, what else can you not do on the Sabbath day? Hey, Exodus 35, verse 1. Any idea? The son told me he was a Christian, meaning he'd been going to church, right? I'm thinking you've been going with him. You was the brother. You're 14. You're the younger one, right? Okay, cool. So if y'all been going to church and been following Christ, learning how to be Christians, what else can you not do on the Lord's Sabbath day? You can't drink? Ah, you can drink. What about drinking, though, can't you do? What can you never do when it comes to drinking? I'm assuming you're talking about alcohol. Huh? 
You say get drunk. Exactly. You can never get drunk and we'll show you that too. But read this. Let's see what else you can't do today on the Lord's Sabbath day every single week. Come on. Exodus chapter 35 and verse 1. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. The children of Israel. You got to understand something. The Lord is always talking to us. That's how special you is, AJ and Sean. We already know that. We just pray y'all get it and really understand it and grasp it. It's not because you're 14 to 16 riding in a nice photo call. No, it's special because you're an Israelite. God only chose you out of 18 nations on the whole earth. You got to understand that and get your confidence back because your enemies don't want you to have it. These ain't your own enemies. They done a hell of a work on our people and still doing it. But you got many other enemies and you're going to find out more as you continue in this truth. Lord's will that you do. Understand you are chosen. God only dealing with the Israelites, the real ones. Come on. These are the words which the Lord had commanded uh -huh. that you shall do them. Read. Six days shall work be done. Six days shall work be done. How many days in a week? Seven days. So on one day you can't work. Guess what day that is? Saturday. And when does Saturday start on a Sabbath day to be more specific? When does it begin? Friday night. Very good, AJ. So you can't work Friday nights and Saturday mornings. You're smiling, but that's good. This is better than any great straight-A uh, report cards you can get in school. Do that, too, but just know this more as well. What's wrong? Who you pointing at? They tripping? That's your uncle? Call his phone. You got your phone on? You call him, tell him come over. Tell him talk. Call his phone. Read. But on the seventh day, there shall be unto you an holy day, uh -huh. and seventh of rest to the Lord. Read. Whosoever do work therein, shall be put to death. So it's obvious we can't work, right, AJ? Read. You shall kindle no fire to out your habitations upon the seventh day. So what else is he saying now? We can't kindle no fire. Because you got to think about it. At this time, our forefather Moses had us in the wilderness. So is he saying we can't make a fire, period, or a fire with a purpose, specific thing? What could we not do on the Sabbath? Any idea? Any guess? You said light of fire? Yeah, what type of fire? Because it's cold in the wintertime. You need heat, right? It's God telling us you can't smoke? What you mean smoke? Like on a grill or a cigarette? So yeah, you can't smoke weed, very good, because you gotta be sober mind. That would be a sin. You gotta exit the 60. Okay, I'll praise it. What else is he saying? We're talking about not lighting the fire now on the Sabbath day. We already got we can't work and we can't buy. So right there we just read, because you was running about your uncle right quick, that we can't light a fire. He's not talking about uh the heater because it's cold. What is he talking about? Exodus 16 and 23 to get a sense. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. Come on. No. And he said unto them, that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that if we will bake today, and see that you will see. So he said tomorrow is going to be the Sabbath day. So you can say it's probably Thursday night or Friday morning. He said tomorrow because at sundown is a new day, right? Friday night will be the Sabbath day. He said bake that today and see that tonight, huh? Do I got to go? Where your uncle at? He went in the stove? What you told him before he went in the stove? Nothing. You told him to come over? Okay, I'll praise you. What else you should have told him? You can't buy today. It's the Sabbath day. That's li I'm telling you, that little bit of seed, that little bit of nugget right there, it'll grow into what it's supposed to grow into. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 